everyone, Reverend Deanna Cox here. I uh, finally relented and reinstalled the Facebook app on my phone to make this a lot easier. So I'm glad to be back to you in this familiar way. I'm Reverend Deanna Cox and I serve this online community of DKR United as well as the physical communities of Daysland, Killam, and Roseland United Churches and beyond because our community has people in others, uh, our community of faith has people in other physical communities as well. Can you believe it that this coming Sunday is the first Sunday of Advent? It's kind of blowing my mind how fast this fall has gone. And I chose a resource for this season um, that's titled Housing the Holy. And it caught my attention because it's about making room in our lives for what is important and what we cherish about this season and about each other, about our communities, and also making room for our faith. This is um, leading up to the birth of the new, like this is our new year in the church calendar, with the, starting with the birth of Jesus. It makes sense. Brand new, starts with the birth. And uh, one of the things as I was contemplating, okay, what am I going to do with this midweek reflection time during Advent? And the theme of making room or housing the holy, I started to think about how I used to love Christmas um, before I went into ministry. It was something, a, a season that I profoundly cherished and I would you know, decorate the whole house and I do lots of Christmas baking and I loved entertaining. And this is kind of a busy time of year in our, in ministry. And so when I started, especially because I'm still relatively new to this, I, I didn't have a lot of extra room for those things. And so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity in this midweek reflection to take some time and share some of the things that I love the most about Advent with you, which also gives me space to reconnect with those things that I love. And kind of hoping that in my sharing of what I cherish, the traditions that I cherish from this time of year, that maybe some of you might share with us the traditions that you cherish. Maybe even being bold enough to invite me on a Wednesday at 10 o'clock to come and share something that you love about the season in our midweek reflection so that we can all make room for what matters to us um, in and share it with this community. And maybe we can enjoy sharing those traditions back and forth. So I'm standing here by our Christmas tree because one of the things, as I said, I love to decorate and one of the things that was really special for me was um, the de decorating the tree. And my grandmother, I'm just going to get this. All the time I was growing up, my maternal grandmother would often give me a Christmas ornament for either my birthday or for Christmas, and sometimes both. And... I don't, I don't even know when it started, but it feels like it's been for as long as I can remember. And as I got a bit older and started realizing how special that was, I started 
labeling at least with the year that I got it. And sometimes other people would give me one, so I would make sure I put who gave it to me on it as well, if there was space. And so I've ended up, and this is only a fraction of them, I've ended up with oodles of Christmas ornaments, all labeled. And it started, and so when, when our kids were little, I would, I would start to take, I'd say, no, 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 we got to see who it's from. And so we would pull it out and I, they'd, who's this one from, mom, where'd this one come? And then they'd put it on the tree and it kind of evolved into this storytelling of decorating the tree and, and a trip down memory lane. And um, I started giving them ornaments each year and marking them for them. And so they had their own stories. Oh, mom, mom, where's mine? Where's mine? And they dig in there to find it. And, and it was, it was fun. It was also challenging as they got a bit older and wanted to do it themselves. And it, shifted the specialness of it it would like then they got mom you can't go back and change the ornaments make it pretty <laughs> so it it shifted my interaction with this tradition and uh now I kind of sit with the box of ornaments and do my own reflection as I hand them to them and they decorate the tree and tell the story and we talk and it's, it's still this very special time, but it shifted. And as our kids are growing, um, Aurora and James are no longer at home um, and not always here to decorate the tree. And so that tradition is shifting again and it will continue to shift as life has a way of doing that, growing and changing and drawing us into new moments. But this is something that when life would get busy and the kids would want, oh, mom, mom, can we set up the tree? And I'd be like, I'd just be like, well, no, I want to have the house cleaned and I don't have time and blah, blah, blah. And then finally it would just, I'd just say, fine, okay, just set up the tree. And it, that moment, that sacred moment was lost. And so, like I said, I wanted to take some time with you, remind you that this is a season of slowing down and making space for things that matter most, whether that be setting up the tree, even when the house is messy and cluttered, or even when you're busy, because making time and space for that is important, or whether that be not putting up decorations and going away and focusing on family because that's what you need at the moment. Or, you know, or maybe it's digging out, you know, the old pen and paper and writing Christmas cards this year because we can connect to each other in a, in a more personal way than an email. Whatever it is, I strongly urge you to try and find some space and make some room for that tradition that is meaningful to you this year. Um, life goes by too fast to not make that room. And this is what Advent is calling us to, is to make that room for those things that are sacred to us. It is also, the theme housing the holy is also a reminder that we are 
housing the holy. We embody the holy one within us and how we engage with the world reflects that. And, you know, we hear a lot about self-care and taking, you know, and being mindful of not getting over extended because you can't put your best for, foot forward in the world if you are barely surviving yourself. And so it's also that reminder that we are sacred vessels and we need to, or and vessels of the sacred, and we need to tend to that as well. So if, if what you need to make room for is yourself um, through a meditation or, um, you know, whatever, uh, we are hoping to put out an advent calendar with some greetings to bring you joy. And then on the back will be some poetry or a poem or um, a prayer and or a question for reflection. And maybe that will help you take aside a moment each day and for yourself to to do that so that you can be a home for the holy and when you're out in the world be your best god created self i'm kind of excited about what we have to offer as i said the advent calendar and uh these uh, midweek reflections where we're going to make room for our uh, Christmas traditions and hopefully I really really hope somebody will be courageous enough to invite me and share one of their um, traditions that they make room for each year. We are going to also hold our Lament and Light service on uh, December 9th in uh, at the Killam United Church in the evening and this is a service for be acknowledging that Christmas isn't always a time of bright lights and family and feasting for everyone um, sometimes Christmas is full of grief and sadness and you know and reminders of times where the table was full of people, um, different, different ways that Christmas has changed and shifted. And so I encourage you, if that is something that will be meaningful to you, to join us on December 9th, either in person or in some way we will share it virtually. And then our Christmas Eve services as well. We will have, um, um, We'll have two, one at five and one at seven. And I'm sure there will be something offered between them online as well. Um, we're going to have a virtual kind of pageant. So I'm excited to share that with you. Um, so there's, there's lots of things going on. Please don't feel like you have to engage in them all. Pick what is going to feed you the most and engage in that. Um, offering a variety is not to make us feel guilty about not doing it all. Offering a variety is to help that something is going to be what you need. And I'm kind of excited about this resource about making room for the holy and and sharing some of my traditions with you. And so I uh, will leave you there now and, and let you contemplate as we come up towards our first Sunday of Advent, um, which in person will include communion. And so if you watch online, I invite you to Keep that in mind and maybe get some bread and juice-like items ready when you tune in to this service. And uh, yeah, as you come up to this first Sunday of Advent, may God's blessing 
be with you this season and may you be ever mindful of making room for the holy in your day-to-day -day lives. So I will leave you there and I'm going to make some room for this tree tradition in my life. Take care. God bless. Bye.